Golly, you're the best! Today I'm going to be moving in and cozying up with the greatest NPCs in video game history. I'll be locking myself within the barrier of the Imperial City and the surrounding island. I'm going to be showing you how to make a name for yourself around town, become all powerful, and completely break all logic within the quests of the Marble Behemoth at the center of Bethesda's 2006 classic. By the end of this video, you'll have the keys to unlock one of the greatest hidden adventures you've ever experienced. This was the largest project by far in this series that I've been doing, not just because of the sheer amount of content that this island has to offer, but because I had to relearn the systems and idiosyncrasies of a 15-year-old RPG. So allow me to be your guide as we take our tour through the iconic and layered city lying at the center of Oblivion's map, as I once again drive myself crazy with monotony in an effort to answer the question, can you play Oblivion without leaving the Imperial City? see your face. Luckily, your adventure starts underneath the same island you'll be staying in, and there's no better way of starting your journey to fame than by responding to one of your haters hurling ethnic slurs at you. Wake up, kitty kitty. Did you say to me? What did you say to me? Follow the worst security detail in history out of your cell, punch some stuff, and eventually you'll get to witness the most cinematic assassination of all time. I can go no further. Stranger. What? Here's where you get to make or choose your class. If you're looking to get respect in this world, you need to make the game as hard as possible by choosing very few combat skills. So sneak, alchemy, illusion, mercantile, speechcraft, blunt, and most importantly, acrobatics. If you aren't familiar with Oblivion's level scaling, it's pretty terrible. However, pretty much everything in game, from shopkeeper inventories to the loot and enemies you'll find, all scale to the player's level, meaning increasing our level means more content for us to explore, and this series is about experiencing as much content as possible in a given space. So supplanted throughout this entire guide is multiple hours of skill grinding. I'm going to skip most of that because I assume you don't want to watch three hours straight of me auto-walking into a corner. Uh, unless you guys want that part of the story. Do you guys want that? I, you don't want that. Don't! Please! I'm sorry! What's going on with you? Now that you're out of the sewers and making your way downtown, take some time to meet your new neighbors. It's important that you introduce yourself and leave those around you with a positive first impression. Excuse me. Uh, customer. What? Welcome to the arena. Let's go, Blue! Yes! He doesn't look very excited. I think he's questioning right now everything about him getting involved in this. Remember, trespassing in the Imperial Palace is a serious crime. Have pity on an old war veteran. It's all over, lawbreaker. I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. There's something strange about Ida of Lenormand. You know how much maintenance that haircut probably takes to get swirled up? She's the best I'm in not city. buying a and she'll teach us a bit. Ugliness, it's the standard. We did nothing special to this character's face. And y'all call y'all are calling me ugly. Okay, maybe he is ugly. That's just a bad idea. Good day. Uh, you should be ashamed. Get away from me. If you've got to travel by the nine divine stay Oh, the hey, sweet lady of way rest. Oh, oh hey, sick. sweet lady of mine. <laughs> Jesus I'll Christ. see you again. Filthy pickpocket. What did you take? Sir, go back to bed. This is all a dream. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm, le <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm going to jail. Stop oh! right there, criminal scum! I knew it! Oh my god. Look at you, making friends, meeting people. Pretty soon, everyone's gonna know your face, but if you really want to make a name for yourself, you can start doing some charity work by helping out those in need. I've just been shaken down by that bastard watchman. Someone ought to do something about him. With a quick tongue, you can convince Jen Scene to give you his identity. Feel free to browse, friend. Yeah, feel free to give me some damn answers. It's that bastard Auden's Avidius. Head over to the feed bag next door. He shows up there every day for lunch. You aren't a coward, so the smart thing to do is accuse him of corruption to his face. You must be stupid to accuse me of corruption to my face. I'm pretty sure you just attacked me. Then pay with your blood! You're not taking my drugs. No way, the store owner's helping me! Die, Imperial! Die! <clears throat> then pay with your blood! What's the matter? Getting tired? You saw what happened. You were a witness to this crime. No, 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 no! God damn it! Oh. 
Oh, oh my god. god. Yes. Excuse me, are you all right? Oh, what? <laughs> oh my god, there's a ghost behind you. Look out. There's a strange figure behind you, right over your right shoulder. You must be stupid. No, I'm not stupid, I swear. Stop! Oh, what, 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 what just happened? Yeah! I guess this is the strategy. I'll just stand here while he waves his hammer. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Someone's been murdered. Stop. You violated the law. Great. They put me in here while I'm on skooma withdrawal. <laughs> okay, so technically you failed the quest, and you didn't make any money, and you also lost several skills while in jail, and you learned that having multiple witnesses won't help you get past a stiff judicial system, and you're technically a murderer now, so... You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. I'm not a murderer. The Night Mother seems to think otherwise. So not only did the justice system get this one wrong, but an ethereal, all-knowing corpse somehow f***ed it up too. This is fixable though, just uh, uh, yeah, you know, plant your weapon into Lucian's face a few times. Ah, you mangy house cat. Okay, you really didn't have to get that personal with it, Lucian. Now I'm definitely not joining the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, and take his rope. So not only did you stop a murderer, which in my opinion cancels out the first fake murder, but now you can look cool in his robes, which have some decent stat boosts as well. However, killing a top dog in the Dark Brotherhood isn't nearly enough penance, nor is it enough to get your name around town. Having a bit of trouble with another merchant in town who goes by the name of Thornier. He is dirty. He undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. I hope you've been practicing your skills up until this point because... Why are you following me? Please, go away. It's time to get tactical. In our sights. Yeah, I pray too. I'm religious. I'm not following you. That you, Agamir? Shh. Not so loud. Same assault in the dreams? But How I goes it? <laughs> He's talking to me too. Hey, leave me alone here. I'm sneaking, okay? I'm investigating. Argamir, I command you. I had a feeling oh, you'd catch on sooner or later. That's why I had this trap prepared for you. A couple of things I need to point out here, all right? So my character here is level 14, and at this point, with the bare minimum invested into combat skills, you can imagine how this fight goes. Oh, this is uh, not good. Oh, not good. <laughs> Seeing as we can't backflip these two to death and the door we entered locks behind us, we're presented here with an interesting problem. But I love interesting problems, and so should you, because interesting problems tend to have interesting solutions. No, 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 no. Oh my god. We got the key! <laughs> yes, we got the key off of him! I had a feeling you'd catch on sooner or later. Yeah, this well, I prepared a trap for your trap. <laughs> Guards! Help! <laughs> I'm being attacked by two psychopaths. <laughs> Ow. Oh my, oh my. All right, first time didn't work out, so I had to try this again. But this time, Argamir didn't follow us out of the crypt, and he remained peaceful when we walked back in until we attacked him. I really have no clue what happened here, or why his AI broke, but he's a lot easier to take on one-on-one, -on -one, so I still suggest this strategy. And there's a point I was trying to make here, and it revolves around pickpocketing and quests breaking as a result of it. Put it in the back of your mind for later. All right, take out Argamir, grab the evidence, and... Oh, God. It's all over, lawbreaker. Are you f Okay, you want to really get famous? Well, screw helping people. They're ungrateful anyway. Just like in real life, doing a good deed isn't the fast track to notoriety. Nobody cares that you stopped a grave robber or put a stop to a corrupt official. The people want blood, spectacle, TikTok dances, and fake pranks. So head on over to the arena for 25 consecutive matches of cheap tactics. <laughs> she's given up. Oh, no, she's still trying. Morally questionable engagements and Wes Johnson's booming voice. <laughs> The arena is kind of hard to talk about because there's really not a whole lot here. You just talk to Owen, you head upstairs, you fight, and then you dunk your face in a bowl of goo that reminds me of that scene from The Matrix. Oh god, no, not that one. Yeah, 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 that one, that one, the original. The arena does have a few twists, like eventually you get this weird matchup where you have to kill three prisoners forced to fight in the arena for their freedom. It looks like the yellow team has pulled a fast one. It's not that exciting, you should not be that positive about me killing three slaves. Oh, sh I'm getting mugged. Stop. I don't want to do this. The game doesn't tell you what crime that they committed, but it was bad enough to where they're basically being sentenced to death, but also not bad enough to where they get a 3v1 chance at immediate freedom. What do you guys think they did? There's a fight where you get a pig on your team, and coincidentally, those are the two toughest fights by far. Oh no, oh, I'm stuck. Whoa. Ah, damn it. Oh my god, they're knocking me over like crazy. <laughs> Oh, 
which makes the final matchup so disappointing. Fun fact, the Grand Champion doesn't scale past level 10, so he's a piece of cake for the most part. Nice guy though. Hail friend. This Grand Champion sucks. Of course gold for each match is nice and all, but the real reward comes from the fame that you've now claimed and the title that you now hold as Grand Champion of the Arena. Just kidding, we all know the best part of it is this guy. Wow, you're the Grand Champion. I saw your fight against the Grey Prince. You're the best. Can I, can I follow you around? I will give you. You've made some fantastic strides in your ascent to local virality, but if you want to disconnect and take a break from your new reality, I don't blame you. There's plenty to do outside the city walls without leaving the island itself. Take a walk around the aisles, soak in the view, but beware that many dangers do exist. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get away from me. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> Guards, help. I'm not combat viable. No, oh, shit. Help, help, defend me, farm woman. What's the matter, getting tired? Yes, the horse is a perfect defense. Let you move like a pregnant cow. Okay, really, we're going with the pregnant cow line again? Finally, the guards do their job for once. Can I help you? <laughs> There's four different caves around the island that you can pillage through every three days if you're looking for a fight or you just want to clown on some bandits. Hello, who's there? Go! Uh, run! <laughs> run! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hello? Who's there? I gotta- I, I can- I can do it. I'm gonna break their pathing. Yes! Uh, no, it worked! <laughs> Get him, rat! Feast, my children! Then the dog goes down too. I'm a combat genius, I'm a mastermind. <laughs> you can even take a walk through the sewers underneath the city. It's really just one giant cave, but when you've locked yourself to one region, sometimes the change in scenery is nice. At lower levels, these places offer almost no cash at all. But when you become a higher level, it ramps up quickly and you'll be loaded before you know it. Now I spent hours in these spots and certainly had a lot of funny moments, but in the name of brevity, we're gonna move on. But I will use this moment to plug my second channel where I've uploaded every single stream from this adventure if you you are interested. So you've got the fame, you've scoured the island's dungeons, and you've hopefully by now secured a large sum of cash, but before you move towards our final goal of breaking Oblivion's quests, you should stake your claim on the island by buying some property. The home on the waterfront has it all, a gorgeous view, a drug dealer right around the corner, and if you've ever been a single male in college, all the furniture that you'll need. Want more furnishings? No need to look below. Tertullian, Sergius, and Cicero. At the Three Brothers Trading Store can sell you some more goodies for your house. Now with a house, loads of cash, a swirly haired pet following you around, and all the caves scoured ad nauseum, you'll get to a point where you need to start creating your own fun. And it starts with acquiring the boots of Spring Hill Jack. These are a quest item typically only obtainable from the Thieves Guild quest line, but if you venture over to Jack Ben Incel's house, you can actually acquire these boots early by knocking him unconscious and pickpocketing them off of his person. Remember when I said pickpocketing breaks quests? These boots give you a stupid 50 point bonus to acrobatics, but when you're running out of things to do, why wouldn't you grab these bad boys? You can combine them with the Paralyze spell for extra fun, granted you spend a few hours getting Illusion to level 100. <laughs> this will likely land you in jail, so another fun activity is attempting different breakout strategies. Professional lockpicker, getting out of jail should be easy for me. <sighs> Who's this guy? Hey, who are you? Oh god, what are you doing in the jail? <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Look, there's a guard coming! Get, get in the cell! Get in the cell! Get in the cell! Close, the, you, kind close the door! Get in here! What the, go hide in the corner! The guards come! <laughs> Stop smiling, we're in prison. Yes, oh great and mighty grand champion. Here, right here. Stay put. <laughs> Serve your sentence. Oh, 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 who are you? I've hacked into the Imperial cameras, okay? I'm not cheating. There he is, guards on the way. <laughs> I gotta get back in. I'm back, I'm <laughs> back. Good to see you again. Maybe you won't notice that the door's open. Now, if you know you're about to serve a jail sentence, you could just plant some invisibility potions beforehand. Hell, you could grab the warden's key too. They just put me in here 30 seconds ago. They'll never catch me. <laughs> Alright, enough fooling around in jail, it's time to get down to business. You may have noticed I skipped the Thieves Guild. Well, that's because there's nothing you can do after the first quest in town, except you can technically start the final Thieves Guild quest, granted you're willing to wall glitch through a gate in the sewers. You might be saying to yourself, hey, that's against the rules. Well, first off, my channel. And secondly, I think using a glitch in order to access more in-game content is fair. So get Ben. This kicks off the Thieves Guild finale quest, which takes you through an absolutely ball-busting dungeon. I think I was around level 30 when I went through, and it was just a non-stop barrage of spongy enemies. Uh. 
Is the adoring fan okay? Oh shit. No, the adoring fan got mugged. <laughs> Well, I'm taking his green shirt. The final phase of this dungeon requires a specific arrow that you won't have yet, which opens up a hidden staircase. To the best of my ability and disappointment, I wasn't able to use the same wall glitch technique to get there. We're just... Oh man, it's like watching my dreams slowly float away. I'm not saying the quest is impossible to complete. I'm just saying I wasn't able to. I'm open to any ideas though. Well met. Welcome to the Bloated Float. One of the more unique quests in Oblivion takes place on the Bloated Float, in which this Botel gets hijacked and driven out to sea by bandits. Again, you may be calling me out here shouting, hey, that's technically leaving the city. And that's okay. Just be aware that you're the boring one at the party. Now, normally this quest requires you to kill every bandit on board and collect their keys, but what if I told you you didn't have to do that? If you paid attention in class earlier, you'll know that pickpocketing will be involved here. What do you think you're doing? Nothing, nothing. Leave me alone, leave me alone. No, 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 get out of here, ah! Put that back, you worthless thief. <laughs> okay, okay, I guess I'm not caught. <laughs> if you're not sure what happened, let me explain real quick. Typically on this quest, every NPC you encounter will approach you on their own. You'll talk briefly, then you'll fight, then you'll take their key and move on to the next NPC until all four are dead. The keys are required to advance the quest. Now, I'm not sure why, but getting caught pickpocketing breaks the intended nature of each NPC, setting them neutral and breaking the quest. So in order to move forward and attempt to pacifist this quest, something I've never seen done before, we not only need to get each key before the NPCs engage us in conversation, but we also need to get caught pickpocketing in the same sequence. Keep your thing. Somebody help! Come quickly! We've got a burglar! Wait, the, the man robbing this entire establishment is worried about a burglar? Okay, one more on down, three to go. The orc being held captive is surely thankful for your heroics. Move out of my way. Oh no, I did break the quest. There's some fine light armor at the best defense. I don't know, is light armor what we should be worried about right now? We've been kidnapped. We rarely get real trouble here. The thief! You won't get away with this! Oh, trust me, you will. Two morons down, two to go. Ah, Whoa! What are you doing up here? The next two are pretty tough, because they engage you immediately after you open a door, so you need to mash the action button and hope you get lucky. Over my dead body. Ah, I gotta be really quick with it. Ah, what are you- Oh, we got it! Uh-oh, bad news. You took everything from him and you didn't get caught. Remember, interesting problems. In Oblivion, you can only reverse pickpocket items with no weight. Keys are your goal right now. They also happen to be your answer. Put that back, you worthless. We did it. Oh my god, it worked. Well met. Minx is alive and well. Greetings to you. Lynch is alive and well. He seems pretty nice. Everyone seems so pleasant. How, How could they have kidnapped us all? Thief! You won't get away with this. Well met. Welcome to the bloated float. Well, we tried to pacifist it. I guess two out of four isn't too bad either. In order to actually complete the quest, you need to kill Lynch downstairs and Celine in Ormil's room. So be it. In my opinion, this is still one of the wilder ways I've ever resolved a quest in one of these games. Before we come to the end of our adventure together, I have to emphasize one more time. This island is massive, and I'm sure I left out some of your favorite bits. Funny dialogue, bugs, maybe a secret or two. One of my favorite parts of doing these videos is reading through everyone else's memories and nostalgia of these iconic gaming locations. I never go in to these videos with much of a set plan, which is probably why I'm sitting here two weeks since my last upload, but also that's what I think makes the adventure so genuine and fun. The Imperial City Island is sprawling, deep, and a place I can't say I regret spending 20 hours in. I could have done without all the grinding, but it's amazing to me that you can essentially get the entire Oblivion experience without leaving this space. And when I say the entire Oblivion experience, of course I mean the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay and progression, but I also mean the entire storyline. Because yes, you can beat the f***ing game without leaving town. Head over to the Temple of the One and take a quick look at your map. This isn't new to anyone familiar with Oblivion speedrunning, but I feel like I should explain anyway. Notice how there's two entrances to the temple, one visible to the player from the start, and one a few feet past that. That second door acts as an entrance to the game's final cutscene. Using the same quick save and load strategy from earlier, you can easily phase through the door and activate Oblivion's endgame. Ah, oh, crap. Guys, this is all my fault. Oh, no. Okay, there's too many of them. Come on, I gotta have more people on my side than just one guard. Oh, that's a whole army. Where's Martin Septim? What am I supposed to do for the game to actually end? Do I have to do anything special? Oh, what is that stun lock of bullshit? 
I don't think I can beat the game. I thought I could. Everything is disappointing me. I was actually convinced at that point it wasn't going to work, but I made one last ditch effort. We're too late. Mayroom's Dagon is here. We did it! <laughs> I beat Oblivion! Farewell. You've been a good friend in the short time that I've known you. I've known him. <laughs> Sean, it's only been 30 seconds. Damn, I'm really just standing down here butt naked. <laughs> The third age has ended, and a new age dawns. When the next Elder Scroll is written... Hello, I'm Brother Joffrey. Can I help you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's playing out the intro dialogue. <laughs> yeah, you know the Emperor? I got the Amulet of Kings, dude. This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted <laughs> to handle the Amulet. Let me see it. <laughs> What do you know of the Emperor's death? I, but did, did you, and I, but, but were you here with the, but you're... As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. 